Oh, hi. I'm Jen, and welcome to my vlog space. And today's video is not a super fun one for me, but you know, these things happen. Uh, I wanted to talk about injuries because dancers get injured all the time. We ask our bodies to do a lot. We ask a lot of every muscle, every bone, every ligament, every tendon in our bodies, um, more than the average person. <laughs> and uh, injuries happen. If you look at any gymnast, collegiate, uh, up through level 10, Olympic level, um, they always have some kind of like wrap or tape or something, right? And it's because they're always dealing with injuries because they ask a lot of their bodies. Dancers are the same. And I know that because we're expected to wear costumes and, and look a certain way on stage, we can't always have things like very obviously wrapped, right? <laughs> um, but sometimes you can. Like in my company, I don't have any costume requirements that say you can't show like a knee brace or like Sean wears knee braces when he taps and because he has injuries from when he was in the army. I wear knee braces sometimes. Uh, one of my other dancers, Christy, wears knee braces a lot. Panda wears uh, KT tape a lot. I'm not going to tell them that they can't do what's right for their body or they have to sit out of the show. First of all, I need them for the show. <laughs> Second of all, it's really important for longevity in the career that you take care of your body while you're using it and while you're resting it. So I wanted to talk about this because I am currently injured again. Um, <laughs> it happens a lot. It feels like it happens a lot to me. And that is because of two reasons. One, I dance a lot. So injuries happen a lot, minor to major, they happen. Um, and two, I don't often take care of it right away. So injuries tend to last a little longer with me. Um, so I've had, I've had some funky knee issues for a while, but, uh, last March I was doing a gig in Richmond and the stage was just super hard like there was no raise to it whatsoever and I'd managed to get through the whole weekend I got through the entire weekend and it was fine till the very last dance in the very last show <laughs> actually wait it was the second to last dance and I know that because I didn't do the last dance and it really threw everybody off they're like what's going on why did she leave the stage um but yeah the second to last dance in the very last show out of like six shows that weekend I did something where the impact on my knee just just caused a problem. It turns out I got jumper's knee, which is also known as patellar tendonitis. So my patellar tendon, like that, the tendon that connects your knee to your shin, um, it definitely got angry. Let's just say I'm not a professional at these things. I don't understand like medical terminology and stuff. So I'm just gonna say it got angry. <laughs> and so I've been dealing with that, but still dancing. I've been wearing a knee strap. Hi, hi, Bento. I've been wearing a knee strap. I've been doing all the things that I should be doing while still dancing. Um, but the problem with that is that it's going to help me to be able to dance, but it's not going to help the tendon heal unless I rest. Now, from February until this past weekend, I cannot count on one hand even like it takes it's less than one hand of fingers okay of how many weekends off I have had from shows performances and mandatory rehearsals like tap dance stuff and I'm teaching I'm teaching five to six days a week right so I haven't been able to take a break especially with these gigs and well my body decided that uh, it's going to make me, it's going to make me take a break. This past Monday, I was in class, I was teaching a jazz class, and I did something where I landed out of a jump, and my tendon went, or my ligament tendon, one of the, one of the ligaments and tendons in my knee, I have three of them that are kind of angry at me right now, and one of them in particular went, okay, now I'm angry, and um. I went to see my, my knee specialist and he was like, I normally don't tell you to stop because I know better and I know that you need to do this for a living and I know that this is what you do, um, but this time I'm going to tell you to take a break. 
And I was like, okay, if you're telling me that, it's it's definitely time. I said, is there anything like super, super wrong? And he was like, no, but it's not going to heal if you don't stop. It's only going to get worse and then something will be wrong. So I was like, okay, here's what we're doing. <laughs> so I'm taking a couple weeks off, no impact zero impact. I, I can demonstrate a tendu to my ballet students, but for the rest of it, no impact. Um, so yeah, I can't run, I can't jump, and I can't do my favorite thing in the entire world, which is tap dance. But I would rather be frustrated for three weeks than in a little bit find out that I can't dance for six months, nine months, or what about one day the rest of my life? Like, Three weeks of frustration is worth it to me, and I will I will stand by that for anyone who's like, well, I don't know if I can take a rest. I don't know if I want to take a rest. Maybe I can get through it. Here's me telling you, sometimes you just really need to take a rest, and I'm the, the last person who would ever agree to that, um, <laughs> but here I am. Sean can attest. Like, he has to literally, like, make me sit down sometimes, so... Yeah, that's, that's how the injury happened, and it got worse because I didn't stop. I kept tapping. I kept tapping on questionable surfaces, not what I have at home. What I have at home is not a questionable surface. My studio is not a questionable surface. It's the shows. Like, it's when you get to the stage and you go, oh, this is not raised. Oh, no, what am I going to do? And you don't have anything that you can do. You just have to do it. I don't have a giant... Omera sprung floor that I can bring with me for my whole group to dance on. I just don't. I wish I did, but I don't. And a lot of times, like, the actual stage that they give us wouldn't be big enough for that or, like, it would be too flimsy for that. I I don't know. Like, it just depends on the show, and sometimes you just don't get to choose, and you have to dance on concrete or you have to dance on brick. Been there. But, yeah, this is this is definitely – a thing. <laughs> um, the next thing I wanted to say is how am I resting it? How am I making it better? How am I taking this opportunity to really make the most of these few weeks? Because I know some of you might be in this position as well and you might think, what am I supposed to do for three weeks? Just sit down? Um, you can still stay active. There are lots of ways to still stay active. Um, I am walking. I'm allowed to walk. It doesn't cause any issues as long as it's light walking. I'm not like power walking or anything, but I am allowed to walk as long as it's in supportive shoes. So I'm doing a lot of walking. I have a treadmill set up where I do my day job. So I'm like on the laptop and walking at a fairly like moderate pace, I guess. So that's helping me stay a little active. Yoga is a big one, yoga and Pilates. So while you're while your knee and your leg or your foot or whatever is injured, you can work on your other muscle groups, your arms, your core, your back. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of Pilates and I'm doing a lot of yoga. I say a lot of, but it's only been a couple days. But like in those couple of days, I've done a decent amount of those things. Um, and I'm doing, I'm drumming. So that's, that's something. It works cardio it works the upper body and it helps me keep practicing I'm able to still practice my craft because I'm able to practice rhythms even though I can't really use my knee I am able to use like the kick drum pedal and the hi-hat pedal because there's no impact uh, but I can't I can't tap but I, I can still like practice all the different rhythms triplet rhythms 16th note rhythms syncopation I can keep practicing and that's one of the benefits and reasons why I started to learn to drum in the first place. So it's coming in handy. Um, the other way that I'm resting is I have a demonstrator that is coming with me to my classes for the next few weeks. One of my students, um, sorry, just adjusting. <laughs> One of my students, Izzy, was super sweet and asked if she could help me out. She came to my adult class a couple days ago, and I was like, hey, guys, I can't tap, so... You guys are just going to have to deal with me sitting in a chair and t saying the things. And she goes, oh, I can I can demonstrate it because she's she used to be my advanced student and now she takes my adult class, which is more intermediate. I was like, oh, that'd be great. So she did. And then she said, do you want me to come to all your other classes? And I was like, yeah, if you can. And she goes, I get to tap for free. Yeah, sure. So she's super, super sweet um, and demonstrating for me for my classes. And I am so grateful to her and we were comping her classes obviously as the trade-off for that and so if you're a teacher and you can work out that kind of trade like 
do it, get a student assistant. Um, that's probably the hardest part about all this. Like, I'll talk about the shows in a minute, but like, that's probably the hardest part is the fact that I can't really teach as effectively. I'm a very, I do it, I say it, and I explain it at the same time kind of teacher. So if I lose the do it part, like the show it part, I feel like I'm not that effective. So having somebody there to do that for me is yes. So thank you, Izzy, so much. And thank you to anyone else who is going to demonstrate for me in the next few weeks. I really appreciate you. Jillian, I don't know if any of y'all watch these videos, but uh, Jillian, if you're watching, thank you for demonstrating in contemporary. That was amazing. Um, and then the other way I'm resting is to actually rest. Uh, sleeping actually making sure that you get enough sleep your body heals more when it's rested it doesn't heal as well if you're not getting enough sleep so this is your opportunity to say you know what maybe i'll take a nap today it's not a bad idea to do that so use this opportunity to take that much coveted nap <laughs> that you've wanted for the longest time like i love taking naps with my cats i just really do like a cat nap you know like so it gives me the opportunity to say, I'm just going to shut my eyes for 20 minutes because it'll help my body heal. And if you need the excuse, you need the excuse, right? <laughs> I'm one of those. I need the excuse. But and then just sitting on the couch, making sure that I am resting, I'm, I'm applying heat, I'm doing the PT exercises I was told to do, doing what I'm supposed to be doing and not doing what I'm not supposed to be doing is essentially how I'm going to try to heal my knee as fast as possible. Now, you can't ask for it to be healed overnight. Whatever your injuries are, you cannot ask for them to just be, okay, I rested for a day, I'm fixed. You have to put in the time. Just like with practice, just like with anything that you're trying to get better at, your knee is trying to get better at being a knee or your ankle is trying to get better at being an ankle. So you have to rest. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the effort. So that's what I'm doing. Um, in regards to this channel, uh, I feel like I should be healed in time to not have to miss too many weeks of content. Uh, I feel like maybe I'll just miss one or two of actual dance tutorials, but I promise you there will be other content that is extremely useful, hopefully like this vlog, and um, I will try not to let it interrupt the channel too much. I am filmed a little ahead, but not enough to where I won't miss at least one week. So I'll try to find something cool to post during that week and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Maybe I'll post a clip from one of Noise Complaints Halloween shows since it's Halloween month. Um, but yeah, we'll see how, uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I also wanted to talk about different like injuries that tap dancers do get and um, just in case any of you guys are struggling with these, I have like a whole list of stuff I wanted to talk about and one of those things. I just wanted to highlight some common tap injuries because as a tap dancer, it is possible to get injured a lot. And then I'm going to talk about how to kind of like avoid these injuries or prevent them from happening or do your best to heal through them. Um, I'm not an expert. This is just my experience with being a tap dancer and the injuries that I've gotten and that I've been told by my sports specialist that athletes get, especially dancers, um, patellar tendonitis, jumper's knee. This is definitely a thing that dancers can deal with. Um, it happens from impact and it keeps getting worse the more impact you put on that knee without support. So obviously if you're injured, please go see a medical professional. It's very important that you go do that. Um, but if you're, if you're a dancer and you're dealing with jumper's knee, I'm going to say one of the best things to do is to stop jumping on it <laughs> for a little while. And as a tap dancer, it's kind of all we do. We put a lot of impact on our knees. Um, another injury that I know some tap dancers have gotten, including myself, is bursitis. I don't exactly know what it is, but I know it involves a lot of inflammation in the knee area. So for like P patellar tendonitis you need heat and for bursitis you need ice so I'm kind of like alternating or like don't do both at the same time it's very weird but I'm kind of like alternating on the top I put heat and on the bottom I put ice um sprains and strains obviously we go through a lot of those uh 
just ligaments get angry, tendons get angry because we, again, are putting so much pressure on our bodies. And then a big one, one of my students is dealing with right now, uh, shin splints. Shin splints are really, really tough. And it sounds like it's not really a big thing. It's, oh, it's just shin splints. Everybody gets them. No, they're actually kind of a big deal. So if you find that you're getting shin splints, please take that seriously because those are little micro fractures. <laughs> and those are like little cracks in a bone. So like, take that seriously. Because I know for a little while I had shin splints and I was like, eh, it's fine. Eh, it's fine. And then somebody's like, yeah, it's fine. So one day one of them like cracks all the way. And I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> so if you're getting shin splints, please, please, please see a medical professional, take their advice and rest. Stop causing more damage to an injured area, especially when it's something like that. Um, again, I'm not an expert. These are just the things I've kind of dealt with and I wanted to share with you. I did want to give a little plug. Um, this is not a sponsored video at all, but it turns out to be a plug. Um, Omera Floors is the one thing that's saving me right now. Every time I, da I dance on the Omera Floor, I know I'm not causing any extra injury like right now I can't dance at all but as soon as I am able to like I, I can't tap dance at all <laughs> let me be clear I can't tap dance at all but um as soon as I'm able to tap dance the first and only surface I'm allowed to use at first is the Omera floor because it is specially designed for spring to lessen the impact I can't dance on a floor that I don't know for sure was raised properly until I've been cleared to dance on any flooring type. So Omera is really going to save my life. Every gig I do, I'm going to bring my Omera floor with me. I have the two different sizes. So I guess noise complaints just going to have to deal with weird staging for a little while because I'm going to be stuck on a board. <laughs> but um, it's, it is what it is. But that, that floor, if you are suffering with any kind of like not knee injury, because knee injuries, I'm going to say, like, if you were told not to dance, don't dance. But if you're having pain, if you're getting pain from impact when you're tap dancing, I would maybe look into getting a sprung floor because that really can prevent you from having major injuries due to impact because of how much it lowers the impact. Um, this isn't sponsored. I do have a code though, so if it's, I just want to be upfront with that. If anyone is interested in getting an Omera floor, uh, my code is J E N N E V, so it's basically Gen V, my name, um, and you get I think it's ten percent off. I think that's the discount. I'll have to check that out. Um, it'll be in the description below with a link as well. Um, if you're interested in an Omera floor, this video is not to try to sell you an Omera floor. I wanted to be 100% transparent and honest with you about the fact that I'm hurt. And I wanted to impart some of my experience and wisdom about being hurt just in case I could stop one person on this channel from having to deal with what I'm dealing with. Because I'll be honest, it is so frustrating. It is so frustrating not to be able to dance. I've got shows that I have to either pull out of or find a different way to perform in. And it's frustrating. I don't get to do my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So instead, I'm going to focus on the fact that I get to do another one of my favorite things in the world, which is take naps with Bento, <laughs> So, who is currently snoring on the bed. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I just wanted to do this quick little vlog about injuries and kind of be transparent about me and what's going to happen in this on this channel in the next couple of weeks. I hope you guys are okay with the fact that the content's going to change just a little bit, but I promise we will be back to regularly scheduled tutorials as soon as possible. And in the meantime, I will try to come up with really, really fun content for you guys. So, and then the, the mini tutorials are still going to continue. Those have been pre-filmed, so you're good. Th those aren't going to stop. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, don't forget to comment down below. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. Uh, I've got vlogs like this. I do have TAP dancing, just not today. <laughs> and I've got uh, tutorials and challenges and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to the channel. So subscribe comment don't forget to hit the thumbs up too because thumbs up in support of my knee give my left knee some support
uh, and the brace. Don't worry, I'll keep the brace. <laughs> My knee's like, dude. <laughs> so yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for dancing with me.